I'm already going to preface this review by saying that I give Diary of a Wimpy Kid the long haul 2 out of 4 stars AD plus on Influx Magazine. But the reason I say that, to start this out, is because like going back to old box office records and adjusting them for inflation, or even if you're in college or you're in high school, grading on a bell curve you should be familiar with, um, a two-star rating for a Diary of a Wimpy Kid movie could very well feels like a four-star review compared to some of the other uh, some of the previous three films in the franchise. What's going on, everybody? I'm Steve Pulaski, back and better than ever. Uh, talking Diary of a Wimpy Kid of the Long Haul today. And if you're a faithful reader, if you're a consistent reader, if you've been with me since I um, since 2010 when I started reviewing the Diary of a Wimpy Kid franchise, God, it's been seven years, unbelievable, since that first film came out. And that was uh, that was right around when I started writing reviews. It was about 2009 or so. But Diary of a Wimpy Kid, the film series, I have notoriously hated. I've always thought it was an embarrassing uh, franchise. I thought it was woefully immature. I, th I think it's stuff that you shouldn't show your kid uh, just in the regard of how just juvenile everything is. You know what I mean? Now, the the webcomic that the films were based off of, which was on funbrain.com, that was funny, and then they got adapted to his whole series of books. Four movies later, we there's really nothing to say except for the fact that these kind of things, I'd argue, do not work in, li in, in a film. When you see, you know, Greg Heffley, the lead character's adventures and stuff, um, on the page, on, on a page that looks like notebook paper, then it leans itself to, okay, these look like doodles in the middle of a math class, okay? And that really works. But then when you try to make these sight gags and these goofy little instances like Greg Heffley getting a diaper stuck to his hand in a ball pit and then having that joke continue throughout the whole movie right here and having me known as diaper hands the whole movie, it doesn't come off the same way. It feels very juvenile. It feels very corny. And it feels very immature. And it doesn't seem like something you want to show your children. But this film, The Long Haul, as you could probably suggest from the title it's about a road trip the Greg Heff or the Heffley family takes a road trip and it's a whole new cast too as well um, which I'll talk more about in the written review and stuff uh, Zachary Harris did not reprise his role as um or Zachary Gordon, excuse me, did not reprise his role as Greg Heffley. We got a whole new cast here. And you know what? I think the reason this one works a little bit better than the other three, the previous three, um, was the fact that, you, you know, you're not focused on Greg Heffley surrounded by a lot of other kids his age, too. You're focused on him with the family. So there's not a lot of, like, schoolyard shenanigans going on. There's not a lot of, you know, fraggly moments. He's not in it at all, thank God. Like, for the the character fraggly with the cheese touch and everything, and then Rowley, who I think instigated a lot of that stupidity in the previous three movies. So a lot of that's minimized. It is very situational. It's very sitcom-ish in that respect. There's a lot of stuff happening at once. Some of the jokes actually land. Some of them don't. But you know what? The movie is consistently watchable. And I would say that over the last three movies that we've gotten in this franchise, which were the original Roderick Rules and Dog Days, I've not been a fan of any of them. I'm not even really a fan of the long haul. But you know what? It's a breath of fresh air compared to the three previous installments. And you know what? I hate to say it, but if they continue making these these films, if they continue making these films with this cast, it might work. We might hit gold one day, but I've kind of given up that faith. I give Diary of a Wimpy Kid the long haul. As I said, two out of four stars, AD plus on Influx Magazine's grade. I'm Steve Pulaski. I got my review of Everything Everything coming tomorrow uh, afternoon. I'll be seeing that in the afternoon tomorrow, and I will see you on the next video review. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe when you haven't. See you guys later. Bye.